It's random all on vanilla GTA. It's happening. And it's the rerun of the race that we just did on Project Homecoming. This video is brought to you by my real life racing series. Usually ranked as the best series I do by those who watch it, it really does contain some of my favorite videos to make. Catch up on all the action with the link in the description. Let's go! And we're all starting in different vehicles because that's what unknown, unknown racers are like. <laughs> There's a plane on this one though. Oh, it's taking off! Oh my god. There it goes. <laughs> that's cool. That was a cool touch. Well, this isn't, um, this isn't good. Yeah, this feels really wrong, doesn't it? This this isn't right. Uh, by the way, I will say, oh, there's a plane over there as well. There's a helicopter. Um, no respawning is allowed. We'll talk about that later on. Nobody's allowed to respawn. You gotta take what you have. Look. We're about to, we're about to change cars! In a in GT Online, in vanilla GT Online! GT 500 for me now. I'm in 19th again! I spent most of the race in 19th in the uh, Project Homecoming version. Damn, that plane's just flying around. So we just did this race on Project Homecoming. The video would have been up yesterday. Yeah. Um, and I mentioned on that video that it, it's put me in. Really? A fa what did I start in? Did I start in like the Faggio mod or something? Or have I just gotten duplicated? Faggio Sport I was in, okay. <laughs> Really, I can't believe my first ever random all on vanilla GTA and within the first three laps I've gotten two Faggios. Yeah, there was an oppressor mark two there. I realize I'm also in my uh, G Fred suit. <laughs> but yeah, thanks to um, thanks to Floorball. Some floorball magic. We have random all, as you know it, and as we just did it on Project Homecoming, in vanilla GTA Online. The same track, the same setup. Every 20 to 30 seconds, we're in a different car. And we can get anything from the transform field. That plane gets dangerously close. Vigilante, I'm going to boost it. I did it. Oh my god, explosions. This is not right. It feels really weird. This does feel genuinely really strange. Good chance we'll see more bikes, actually. <laughs> oh no, that didn't go as I intended. Oh, we're alright. Drift tamper. This time it's not drifting. <laughs> So, this is an example, basically. I wanted to do a proof of concept. This is an example of what's possible in GTA Online if Rockstar enable the random transform checkpoints in the creator. Anything that we've ever done on random alls, obviously not taking into account the fact that Project Homecoming has all the meme vehicles, the modded vehicles, all that kind of stuff. The Ron liveries, the... Oh no! The special stuff! Come on, land it! Yes! Yeah. Apart from all the 5M specific modded vehicles and features, the actual race itself, now that Rockstar have added these random checkpoints with their unknown unknown and known unknown races, Anything that we've done race-wise on Project Homecoming is possible. And all it requires is Rockstar to make this available to everybody in the creator. So we're on PC and I decided that I would, you know, I had to go with the most popular track. 
we had to have the most popular track um, as a proof of concept basically that's what this is the checkpoints are available to use in the dev creator which requires PC magic and all that kind of stuff um, so don't be surprised I will leave a link to this job in the description when this goes up on YouTube damn I'm in fifth was that a forklift <laughs> um, I will leave a link in the description to this job but don't be surprised if it gets removed when Rockstar find that these are around uh, again thanks to Floorball for doing some trickery to get it created in the first place um, and I just wanted to have a proof of concept of what could be done what could actually happen if Rockstar enabled the random checkpoints in the creator. A lot of the meme -y stuff that you get on Project Homecoming, you know, isn't going to exist, but there's also a lot of slow vehicles that you can get in vanilla GTA and, and a lot, you know, stuff like the Benson, for example, the forklift, for example. And the way that these races work is anything that you can get in a transform race you can get in these random races and there's a much wider selection of cars that you can get in transform races there was actually a bit of confusion I think that a lot of people thought that suddenly a lot of new vehicles were available <laughs> to be used in races but all of the vehicles that you can get in these random races are actually already available in transform races um I wish we could just use a lot of those vehicles to be honest, like just being able to select the emergency class or something. Hey, the caddy! <laughs> uh, like yeah, being able to select emergency class or service class to race a taxi or something like that. Damn, I'm in second? Bad time to get the caddy. The bunker caddy no less. But I thought the reason that I wanted to do it like uh, as a proof of concept with the same race and we've just done the races back to back as well. We've just done the Project Homecoming version. You guys will have seen on YouTube the Project Homecoming version of this yesterday. And now we've got the regular, the vanilla GTA version of it. So you can see how it's different. Honestly, it's not that different. The car selection is obviously different. The vehicles are stock rather than fully upgraded. But if anything, I'm okay with that because then you don't need the vehicles. I've always said that cars shouldn't be changed for performance with upgrades anyway. It should just be visual. And then you wouldn't be penalized for not having the car. Um, you can't change it to have custom vehicles either. But I think you would. that would be fine. No, you, you kind of want to leave it stock vehicles for something like this. Oh, that was close. And it, it, you know what? There's such a wide variety of vehicles you can get. There's the Dozer! <laughs> One of the unholy trinity. I got the t-shirt on. <laughs> Startuprocket.com. Did I get the same car again? Or similar anyway. The Sult it could have been the Sultan RS Classic and the Sultan Classic or something. I don't know, I wasn't paying full attention. Yeah, no lag. No lag on this. Less, well, certainly a lot less lag. The animation is a little bit annoying, though. It's a little bit too long with all that not being able to see the car. Sultan Classic, then into the Sultan RS Classic, it was okay. Um, obviously, we're on PC, like I said, because this the PC magic dev creator stuff is only available on PC obviously this isn't possible on the consoles but this is a proof of concept of what could be possible on the consoles now the benefit of it on PC is limited because if I'm going to do a random race I'm just going to go on and I'm going to be on PC I'm just going to go on Project Homecoming instead but I'd love for you know you guys on console to be able to get this experience so let's hope that eventually before the death of GTA 5 and they move on to GTA 6 Rockstar will 
enable this in the creator. Because I want everyone to be able to have this experience, even those who are on PS5 and Xbox Series and those who can't be on 5M. And if that happens, I will absolutely make it so that as many races as possible, as many tracks as possible that you've seen... <gasps> oh, bloody hell! Uh, that you've seen during the course of my random all videos... I will make sure that as many of those tracks as possible are available in the random all format. Like this one, for example. And I'd try to make it, I'd, I'd create a, you know, a spreadsheet with a database of all those tracks or something so that anyone on all the platforms can have their own random race experiences. This track would have to exist on all the platforms. <laughs> the, the dock handler. <laughs> Yeah, there's some, to be fair, there's a lot of vehicles on Project Homecoming that you're not going to get in this. But there's also a lot of vehicles in this that you're not going to get on Project Homecoming that they've disabled. <laughs> the Invade and Persuade tank. Oh, the Oppressor. I can actually fly it. Oh, that's not good. Nice. <laughs> oh, there's no way. No way. I got the jobber in the Project Homecoming race. No way. <laughs> I can't get away from the jobber on this. Oh my god. Oh yeah, you can actually get drift cars as well. The drift vehicles that they added in the Chop Shop DLC are separate models. You can actually get the drift cars in this. Like the drift version of the drift tamper and the drift version of the ZR350 or whatever. So there are even drift vehicles available in this. Basically everything, if you go into a, the creator yeah, police cars too. If you go into the creator and you create a race and then you change it to a transform race um, and you look at, like, the, you put, a, put down a transform checkpoint and you look at all the vehicles that you can select in a transform race, there's loads, certainly more than you can get in a regular race. You know, there's all sorts of classes and categories that aren't available in regular races. And all of those are just available on these random checkpoints. Because they're just, they're ultimately, they're just, these are just transform races, but with a random selection of car rather than a selected car that you've put down in your checkpoint. So I really hope that this becomes a thing in the creator. I don't know how long this will last, this track specifically will last. Um, like I said, I'll leave a link to the track itself in the description, but it's it's not meant to exist, basically. Uh, so, you know, if you want to get together and have a little bit of a try on vanilla GTA on PC, but hopefully it gets added to the creator so those on console can also have this experience. And I will make sure as many tracks as possible get the random versions. The dump. <laughs> One of the only negatives is that the whole respawning thing that you can respawn to get a different vehicle. And uh, and also the, the the changing of you know the changing of cars with the smoke isn't the nicest. I like the much cleaner version on Project Homecoming. Duplicates are also seem to be a problem as well. That's true. You seem to be able to get duplicates. It's not it's not like Project Homecoming where you can't get the car again if you've got it once. It seems to it seems like you can just get duplicates. So if you get a slow car, it's almost 100% worth respawning, basically, which is a bit of a limitation. But you know, at least it would be something. And again, thanks to Floorball for giving us this experiencing and there's a few people in here who've not done a, a random race on project homecoming who are now getting that experience oh god 
Yeah, that's true. You've got to you've got to deal with the cars as they are on vanilla GTA. So advanced handling flags and all that kind of stuff, <laughs> rather than the nice fixed vehicles on Project Homecoming. Oh, that was close. Uh, for this race, by the way, I. Th I think it's all the vehicles that are available in Transform Races aside from planes and boats. Obviously with Rockstar's versions, planes and boats are available as well, but not in this one. Because you can, I believe, you can select that in the creator. Damn, was that a tank? Damn, you can go with so much more confidence as well when it's non-contact for the first few seconds. <laughs> No way, Thunder got the dozer again. No way. That is some seriously bad luck. Holy moly, we were just talking about how duplicates can be a problem, but to get the dozer twice. There he is over there. No way. <laughs> well, we've never seen that in a Project Homecoming random all before. Unholy Trinity ain't got nothing on the double doors or I know. <laughs> That's crazy. Now we can try to beat his lap time. <laughs> That's insane. Do you know what? If he gets the... Great. <laughs> if he gets another of the Unholy Trinity, I'm sending him a t-shirt. Like, either the doors are for a third time, or the, uh, one of the other two. Oh, actually, you can't get the Unholy Trinity. That's a good point. Uh, oh, can I drop the... Yeah! <laughs> oh, I should have waited until someone was behind me. <laughs> uh, you can't actually get the Rusty Tractor, so the Unholy Trinity actually isn't possible on a Project Home... on a... Vanilla GTA G Fred. Uh, random old Jesus, I can't speak. It's the end of a long day. But theoretically, you can get a version of it with getting duplicates of the Unholy Trinity vehicles. <laughs> Alright, cycle time. And yeah, theoretically, um,. Random G Fred is possible as well, and it has actually been created. Floorball made it, but it was a little bit hacky, and probably best not to try it right now because it wouldn't work too well. So, but it has been created, and it would be possible where you can have checkpoints in a G Fred and you change car at each checkpoint. I'm, I'm sure if that ever existed or we ever did something like that, I'd want to do, I'd want to do more checkpoints to be honest, just so we change cars more frequently. Because I wouldn't want to have the same car for most of the race. And that's how you fix G friend. The respawning issue, we'd have to obviously have a gentleman's rule about not respawning just in general. But yeah, we're in the off season, so no G friends. But it was, it wasn't, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't really ready for prime time anyway. Damn. <laughs> Exclusive to only friend. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, damn, I had the Torreador on the Project Homecoming race as well, didn't I? And I couldn't use the, oh, wrong one. I pressed the wrong button. Which is the button to boost? Okay, I got it. <laughs> Every friggin' boost button on each car is different. Oh, I missed it! No! Oh, bollocks. Oh, different car. <laughs> From the respawn. There's the checkpoint miss that I didn't do in the Project Homecoming race. <laughs> God damn it. 
I know I wasn't allowed to respawn. Well, to be, I just didn't want to drive backwards on the track. That's all right, isn't it? It was probably would have been quicker for me to drive backwards. There's Aqua. Let's not change on this one this time. It is kind of weird not having the lag. Like, feels really strange. Like, we're having such close... If I just... Oh my god, I've had duplicates one after the other. No way. Of all the hundreds of vehicles, I can, Im I can understand getting duplicates, like... Like, throughout the course of a race. But... One after another out of the hundreds of vehicles we could have got. To be honest, I can't even understand duplicates in the first place. Because hundreds and hundreds, I suppose at least some people end up getting duplicates out of all these people. That's crazy. Yeah, I do like it better without the duplicates. The Project Homecoming version where you don't get duplicates is a lot better. <laughs> but again, if people who are on console of vanilla GTA who can't normally get a random all race, this is good enough. 100%. Rockstar's versions, uh, all right, but for the proper random all experience. God! Oh, God! using random with replacements as opposed to random without replacement like one project on coming yeah exactly oh god oh god not allowed to respawn <laughs> i've had some ups and downs in this one i think everybody has Yeah, I had to choose this track again. It's the most popular one. And as a proof of concept of how it could be, I hope they don't wait it, uh, as, as long. Damn it, the surfer. You know, it is Rockstar's general strategy of releasing their own versions of races and then releasing the functionality to make them in the creator later. But the worry is that they've had that in the past where they haven't released stuff in the creator. Like, is it RC Bandito races you still can't create? And just generally a load of stuff that's still locked behind the dev creator that never sees full full game release. I don't want this to be that. Ideally, next DLC. Bloody hell, that was close. Next DLC, enable these checkpoints for everybody in the creator. You can create RC Bandito races. Okay, it was a long time before you could though, right? Oh, I'm in the Armored Boxville again. Go-kart races took a year, right? Yeah, that's true. They took a long time. Oh, God! He didn't stand a chance. Yeah, I... I even when we did the Unknown Unknown races, Rockstar's versions... Um, I felt like even then I was experiencing a few duplicates. Like, I don't know, I don't know whether it's truly random or there's something else going on somewhere. There's a few, I've just seen a few armoured boxers actually. On that lap. But I haven't seen a, oh there's the lawnmower. There's enough similar cars to make me think that like, okay, they choose a smaller selection of cars for the random the randomness but also enough of a variety that makes me think they don't and it's just selection bias maybe because of the duplicates or something and I think there's gonna be a smaller number of cars total Project Homecoming has a lot more cars than vanilla GTA even if you include all the transform that was close all the transform races <laughs> Nice spin.
So I think what we're seeing is just the fact that it's a smaller pool of cars. Hey, the prairie. It's just a, it's just a smaller pool of cars. Than what we're used to from Project Homecoming. And with the fact that you can get duplicates for person to person. Alright, how many laps? Five laps to go. I'm in 11th, fighting over a top 10. I'm not going to be able to get that top 10 with the barracks. How far behind? 13 seconds. Bigger gaps? Oh, no, there aren't really. RJ got a lawnmower from third. Oh, wow. That lawnmower was from third place. <laughs> See ya. Hopefully you've enjoyed this bonus random all, but not really random all, but a proof of concept of what random all experience could be had on vanilla GTA now. And you know what? Props to Rockstar for putting these checkpoints in and making the races their own versions, obviously. And I think they did an all right job. If you haven't seen my showcase of all those races, uh, it was in a live stream and there's timestamps in the video. I'll leave a link to that in the description of this as well. Um, value range random all. But, you know, nice. When, the, when we saw that these races had been added, I knew immediately that if the checkpoints were available for the creator, then random all races, as we know them, were possible. And this is the proof of that. So we can only hope that Rockstar make it available to everybody quickly. And you can have, even if you're on PS5 and Xbox consoles, you can have your own random all experiences. It'll be unknown unknowns and known unknowns, technically, but as close to a random all as possible. Thanks again to Floorball for showing us this. The Ardent on my second to last lap. That was a close finish between the top two. Oh, rip. Two seconds between the top two. That's crazy. GG's. I'm going to get a top 10 on this last lap, though. Oh, Entity XXR. I got this in the Project Homecoming Random All as well. But it was without its advanced flags. Oh, was it? No, was it earlier in this race? It was earlier in this race, wasn't it? Oh, well. Another dupe. I think we would see these dupes in Project Homecoming Random Alls as well. If, uh... Oh, did I have it in the Project Homecoming race as well? Oh, it was the Entity MT in the Project Homecoming race. That's true. Uh, I think if Project Homecoming Random Races also had duplicates, we would quite often see duplicates. Not as often as this, but often enough that it would be happening relatively frequently. It wouldn't be as often because it's a bigger pool of vehicles, but yeah. That's crazy though. Random all in vanilla GTA. Amazing. Please, Rockstar, allow it in the creator. Let everybody have this experience. And I promise you I will make sure that the tracks are available for all of you on it on the other platforms to have your own random all experiences on the same tracks that we've done in these random all uh, the random all playlists and what i do like the much longer timer as well the dnf timer being a lot longer like look at this we're getting most people to the finish line 
You can see all the vehicles people have started in as well. Crazy. So there you go, random all. The quintessential random all experience from Project Homecoming on vanilla GTA. So yeah, the link for the track is in the description if, if, if anyone wants to play it. It might not last very long before Rockstar inevitably, you know, destroy these tracks before they hopefully then release it officially. But there you go.